went pitch black, right? So I'm in the F driving. So it's wet. Like right now, it's 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 like the rain is going, going like out of control fast. Things is flipping. Like every it's cra like it's like being in a real tornado. I I never seen nothing like that. So I'm in the F. Any of y'all that drove an F or know what the F is. So it was tough driving. So I'm, I'm so as the storm going, I'm talking to him on the phone. Though. I'm like, hey. So we having our discussion. I get off the phone with him because I'm trying to run. I'm at this time. I'm trying to get into the studio, right? Because the studio where I, you know, I got everything is. I was closer, so I'm trying to get into the studio. So I had to get out and run into the house. As I'm going and running into the house, lightning hit the tree in front of the house and tore it off in half. I walked in and I remember I said, dude is evil. Cause I felt it. Like, look y'all, when you pick, you can feel evil, dog. Like when you, when you take that bad stuff about your body, you become more in tune with who you are. You'll be able to feel Evils. I felt the evil on him. I ain't never felt. It was powerful too. Nigga, I shut up your party. Oh, and you ain't do nothing. Oh, look, sir. Hey, man, don't, don't do that. They, they call me. You should be you shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You would have shot up my party. I would have slapped you. That's the difference between us. I shut up your party. Wild and Out star Hitman Holla is asking fans for well wishes for his girlfriend who was shot in a home invasion in their house. And this this broke this afternoon. So we don't even we don't know what the whole story is. All we know that is a home invasion. She was shot in her face, in her cheek, and the bullet came out through her head. It was like the devil. Cause when I ran by the lightning hit the tree, boom, knocked it. I'm talking about split it, y'all, for real, no game. I even texted him when I got in the house. And I said, this just happened when I got off the phone with you. Apparently whack, whack letting it be known that he, he said Hitman, Hitman, Hitman the rap. And he put, he, he put it on Pyru that Hitman got an answer under this, under they little, I guess, I'm not a, a gang member, allegedly under they blood oath. The police asked the nigga, do we have any conflicts in the streets, any beef? The nigga got on FaceTime with the police and sent them some videos of niggas okay. being... He of said niggas names, who he got... Of niggas who he think is suspects. Yeah, that's telling. But, he, but listen, I will say, I'm going to tell blood today on Pop. He did that. He needs to be held accountable for that. So... The text didn't go through. I screenshotted the picture, and I'm going to post it at the bottom so y'all see it, right? Ain't no cap here, right? The next day, I remember telling Gerald, I said, how about to come for me? I can feel it. Because his, his movements was too, the, it was so much evil on him. I said, he about to come for me. I asked Gerald, my I called it down. Like I always do call it early. Niggas is old, bro. You a bitch ass nigga. I don't give a fuck what y'all, any battle rapper co-signing him and doing that, fuck you too, nigga. I ain't got no more friends. You co-signing this goofy ass shit behavior. When you see me, don't reach your hand out, don't speak to me or nothing. Any nigga that be in the spaces, any nigga close out of that shit when you see me, don't say shit to me, nigga. That's how it is, man. I'm gonna beat your favorite battle rap. The fuck up tour. That's what the fuck I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start, man. Niggas gotta whoop me. That's what gotta go on now. At these events, these niggas are gonna whoop me because I'm on phase with everybody. You gotta show me you throw your hands. You, you, you corroborating with all this goofy ass shit. Niggas been throwing slick shots. We kept the foul. When you see me, throw your hands. Because I said no, that's where it started. He's made up four different reasons why we fell out. First, he said, I stopped his money. How would I be able to stop some money from a, a, a nigga that gives you money all the time? How would I be able to stop that? I can't stop your money, sir. But he put that on me to get people to look at me crazy, right? Verb did this to me. Holler still got that money. He just didn't tell y'all. He, he, he kept it going along and acting like, oh, I'm like, he's a victim. This the weak shit, man. Like I'm saying, like, it's just so weak. And I, like, when y'all don't be knowing, it just made me look at y'all as weak too, man. Y'all jump in a car and you don't even know what's shaking out here, man. Apparently, yo, Hitman, man, got a lot going on. Salute to Byron Blake. And apparently this Hitman involved in a personal injury lawsuit for 15,000. And I know he got a situation where he's begging Joe McCoy for 20,000. Now, apparently it, it seemed like he could be in a tight jam for money. 
He said, I stopped his money. Dude got the money. He never said nothing. He just rather to keep the war going. The man said to me his first interaction on Twitter to me. I never said Holler's name on nothing. I wasn't in no spaces saying his name. I was telling stories about all the battles I had. Holler, like normal, jumped out the window. And we all know he's over emotional. He's erratic. He jumped out the window. And he pointed his finger and said, Verb, you keep saying something. We gonna pull up on you. Word with death on me? This is insane. Death? He never even had my number. Y'all sick. No, sir. Piper Boy tweeted and said, Jack Boy said he wants Verb unalived. A Verb responds to that and says, yeah, that's the last straw. I'm rehearsing with a question mark and says, nah, F y'all. Then A Verb tweets, wishing death on me? Battle rap? Oh, nah. Y'all got it. I already got the word, y'all. That's what y'all think, man. I ain't bringing it no word because y'all ain't gonna be number blame me for what's gonna happen. Hey, Jones, rap to yourself, coward. You ain't getting my presence if it's not value. Jack Boy, man, ain't wish death on me? Holler said he's coming to the event and he's gonna be shooting. Then he tells Easy that he says, Oh, you was just begging for your sake, man. All y'all trying to line me up and play with me, man. Man, I'll square with you. It wasn't the threat that bothered me, St. Louis. It was the we. When I said we, what you mean with your new friend niggas who don't, don't know who the fuck you really is? You think I, I would let you play? So I said, My first thought, because being from St. Louis, y'all all know how we play ball right okay hey listen man okay so do you want to get in the gloves or something because i'm like what's up do you want because my mind ain't telling me that it's real beef with dude because i don't know what's up with him. i'm the only person that don't know he don't fuck with me all the rest of the niggas be around him speak i'm the only person that don't know right do that i need to turn him up look bro let me see what you got because you was talking that gangster shit for me i just want to inflict home i want to just inflict pain upon him okay so what are we doing with byron because you didn't give him a one-on-one -on -one either to be technically, like, you did not get that man a one-on-one -on -one either. But what what about with Byron, though? You don't want to inflict some harm on, on, on Byron, and you don't want to break his fucking jaw and dig your punches into Byron? You don't want to just fight and destroy Byron? Shit. So, he, this whole time, he's carrying a facade in front of me like it ain't no problem. But everybody behind the wall know that he got an issue with me. He went publicly and said, I just been feeling the way about Bird for six years. That's two things that have changed, right? So now he's trying to project this on me like I did something to him that I did not do to that man, right? Have y'all ever, ever, St. Louis, in our existence, on kind, then hit the club and wear a wolf, what's my name? We've never, we've never had a discrepancy on where I'm from. Right? Are we here? The corner stores know me. The Dauphins know me. Both sides, like I don't, I, we, 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 we've never, we've never had a discrepancy. We don't have, we don't have a, a, a miscommunication. It's Hitman Holler from the West Side. Because here, here's the thing, right? With this internet, he's created this little, this this the dweebs and shit believe this type of shit so now like he's created this thing where he's this this gangster threat and killer and 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 you know it's all fun and games until you start playing with people that like we know the nigga and shit right you know what i'm saying so it's hit man holler from the west side let's 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 start there first now look everybody that's here right everybody that's here right west side it's hit man holler from the west side it's Hitman Holler from West Side St. Louis. Let's let's start there. West Side, it's Holler one of y'all's. Because I'm a uh, cause this is this is the this is the thing. We got we, we gotta get West Side is it's Hitman Holler one of y'all products. So people just instantly because I'm I probably carry an energy of power and I mean you people I, I be tripping. So people probably would look at things and say it's easy to blame him. No, nah, you ain't put no tag on me that I ain't do. I'm a lot of things, but I ain't never been no hater and you ain't finna play with my name like I'm one of these punks. You can do that with these rappers. I don't care, man, because it, it don't affect us. Hey, big Gerald. Yes, sir. That's the way you talk to your son. Ah!